welcome to electrical stuff this is a channel where you can learn the electrical knowledge in building sector today's our topic is cable cleat calculation as per the IEC 6194-2015 standards earlier video we know that why we required cable cleats for importance of the cable cleats we earlier video we discussed in this video we will see a formula which is very important while selecting a cable cleat let's discuss that one in this topic now we will see the cable cleat selection process what 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 are the things required while selecting a cable cleats first one we require cable diameter so consider this is a cable it have a diameter this is a diameter so what is the diameter of that cable second thing is that cable cleat spacing installation so between between a cable you are installing between these two points you are you are holding like that what is the spacing distance between the cleats third thing is peak short circuit current rating well, this can be get from the well calculation so uh, it look like this one so you are on a cable ladder you are installing a cable between cables this this you see these points are the cleats between the cleat distance this d is the distance between the two cleats now we will see the cable short circuit formula how it look like ft is equal to 0.17 into ip square by s where ft is equal to maximum force on conductor it is represented in newton meter and then this 0.17 is a factor ip is equal to peak short circuit current that is in kilo amperes s is equal to distance between two conductors in a meters so this is a formula with this formula we can know that each conductor each conductor what is the force applying on each conductor so if we know this one so we we can select the cable clips easily let's see so we have a two different formations you 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 know that two different formation one is the trifold format and another one is the flat format in the trifold format the formula same 0.17 while you are a flat while you are cables laying a flat format then you should be calculate this one 0.16 into ip square by s only uh, difference very little bit difference between both so now we will be see uh, one example which shows that uh, calculation process so I am considering this is a formula I am a trifold format I am considering you want to choose a flat format just 0.17 replaced to 0.16 so here peak short circuit current I consider as a 50 ka so this, there is a cable diameter 35 mm square this is a cable diameter 35 mm square so uh, I converted into meter that is into a thousand zero point zero one five sorry by thousand that is equal to zero point zero three five meters then I applying the values so I know uh, I, I want to find out FT FT value is equal to zero point one seven you are 35 you are uh, whole square 35 square divided by 0.035 then you will get a value this is equal to 12142.85 newton meter so now we get the total force but this total force is a we required be between the spacing cable clips were installing spacing distance so we can be multiply this force into spacing distance then one cleat how much you required we will get usually cable spacing like a one meter some sometimes we higher rating cables it is recommended 0 0.3 to 0 0.6 300 mm to 600 mm whereas in general lesser cables less than 50 mm cable it is generally we are keeping one distance within one meter distance so I am considering 300, 300 mm spacing distance between the cable cleats. This is a higher rating cable consider. Then my force is equal to this. You this is the value Ft into multiply by 0 0.3. 300 mm converted into meter. That is that is the value we will get. 
3642.85 newton newtons per cleat newton meter per cleat so this is the value we will get each cleat how much newtons required so while you are selecting the cable cleats uh, selecting the cable cleats you not only give the diameter of the cable you have to be consider these values also peak current as well as what is the distance between the saddles okay this is the second thing then what you want to uh, calculate spacing uh, spacing distance so if you know all these parameters then it is very uh, recommended that while short circuit case during the short circuit happen your cables will withstand this short circuit current so i hope you understand thanks for watching if you have any further doubts please let me know in comment section good day bye bye